Hi guys, this is Tamer, and today we're going to start a new series of the basics of programming using Python. So, actually, the first step you need to know is uh, do, do you have Python installed? Uh, so, the, the best way to do that is, is simply to open your terminal. Um, so, I use a terminal in the Mac called iTerm, but, uh, but you can also use bash. Uh, I can't seem to find it. And so usually in, at every Mac installation, uh, y uh, y you would have a basic version of, of Python. If you, if you type in Python slash slash version, you would have Python 2.7. But Python 2.7 is, is a very old version and you would, you would almost never use it only for really specific niche cases. Uh, what's the standard today is uh, who, who would be Python 3. So if you write Python 3 slash slash version, um, I actually have it installed version 3.7.7. So as of today, this is this is the latest version. If you see some errors, like if uh, if you see some errors that there are no that there is no Python 3 detected, then uh, you, you can simply install it. Just search, just go to Google and search Python. And it would be the first link, uh, python.org. Uh, you should go to downloads, and and over here just just download the preferred version for your for your operating system. So once you have ins once you have that installed, uh, you would just you would just copy this command, write this command again, python three slash last version, and you uh, you should see something similar. Python version 3.7.7 or sometime in the future, like any new version. So, um, and the second step is to is to open your your favorite coding environment. For me, this would be Visual Studio Code, but uh, but you guys can definitely use Sublime Text um, or Atom. You can even use Notepad plus plus. But I wouldn't recommend that if you're serious about programming. So, uh, so when you when you open a Visual Studio Code, you're gonna be welcome by this screen. Uh, so to create a new project, no, well actually I'm gonna just simply open a new folder. Uh, personal projects, nope, nope, nope. This is the wrong folder. It gives me one second. Okay. So um, I'm actually I'm gonna create a new folder for inside of personal projects. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna simply create a new folder over here. It's gonna be uh, Python three basics. Okay, and then I'm gonna simply open the folder in Visual Studio Code. Open folder person projects should be down here python 3 basics give it one second yeah now it's loading i'm going to close the welcome screen so to actually use python you must you must have a, you must have, have a python file so to create a python file it's simple you just create a new file with a .py extension at the end of it so it's uh, so so our first file is going to be variables dot py um, so as you can see here the logo changed because I have some some special extensions in VS code now uh, if you're also using VS code just just make sure to, to come down to extensions and uh, and to download the, the Python extension so what this extension enables us to do it just gives us some some extra stuff that, that helps us to code uh, with Python so um, so we're gonna start simple I'm gonna I'm gonna simply explain comments uh, if, if if you want to write a comment in Python 3 you uh, you can simply use it in the hashtag symbol I, I, I can run anything here uh, it's because uh, the the compiler will, will not see this as code so we can simply write this is a uh, uh, comment in Python. 
Now, if you want to write multiple line comments, there are actually two ways. You can use either single quotes or, or double quotes. So if you write, uh, if you write three, three single quotes like that, one, two, three, and then you end at one, two, three. So uh, all of the text between these three single quotes and these three single quotes would be treated as comments. So I will write this. This is a multi-line comment. Okay, I, I'm very sorry. I'm just I'm I'm, I'm gonna increase these in the size of this font. Yep. God. Okay, this is actually my first tutorial. So and I and I and I wrote variables wrong. Let's go. With so um, as you can see here, you can also use double quotes. This is a multi-line, multi-line comment too. And then um, right now, when you want to name variables, you are using Python. So a, a variable is simply a container that stores something. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna simply write, write a comment, a variable variable hopefully I can spell right here it's a container that uh, saves saves something so usually usually in other programming language such as Java um, you, you would write variables in this way string a is gonna be it's gonna be something um, in in Python in in Python, that will not work. So uh, it's so you, in Python you do not have to, to write any any types. You can simply write, uh, let's say, my age, or you can write x equal to five. Now x is associated with five, and in Python, like if you're coming from JavaScript, uh, you you would usually end stuff with a semicolon. In, in Python, this would give you an error, so you, you do not need any semicolons. Um, as well as if you're coming from JavaScript, you would you usually do, like you will usually have curly braces in functions. On, well, in, in Python, that's, that's not the case. This will give you an error. Y can be 5.5, uh, and name can be Tamar, and what else? Um, what else is cool? It's, it can be false. So, so as you can see here, uh, when you want to write um, booleans, it's booleans are either true or false. But in Python, it it uh, it should should be capitalized. Like like this this wouldn't be false. Uh, it's actually it's giving me an error. It would only work like that. In this same case for true, like this is wrong, while if it's capitalized, it would be correct. So as, as so as you can see here, like so we can have many types in Python. As you can see, uh, this is an int. Uh, so an integer is any whole number. I, it can be negative one, um, two, three, four, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, a, a float, this is a float, a, a, a float is a decimal number. Uh, and this is a string, a string is simply a word, or if you want to get, be, get it, like, get too specific, it's a, it's a group of characters. And, and this is a, this is a bool, or, or a boolean, it can, it can either be true or false. So, um, so then, so another way to assign variables, you uh, you can do it like that. You can name it. Uh, it's called multiple multiple assignment. It can be either x. So you would write. So you'd see it separate all of these by uh, by comma. Let me actually um, comment all of these x y name is cool it's gonna be it's gonna be like that 
we had it as 5, 5.5, name, no wait, 5.5, download, and, well, it's, <laughs> it's actually true over here, so. Um, so if you want to print something, you would, you would do it this way. Uh, you would just simply write print and, and put some parentheses, and any, anything inside here would be printed to the console. Uh, let's print x. Now, if you, if you want to run um, a, a Python program, there are many different ways, but the, but the simplest one is simply is to, to, to open your terminal on the folder. As you can see here, we can we have a file here, variables. It's actually wrong, but okay, um, let me fix that for a second. Variables, variables.py. So you would simply run your program by by uh, by doing the command Python three, and then the name of your of your file, which is variables.py. We, as you can see here, we enter that, and then it printed us printed for us x. It uh, it would also work if if we used it if we used it this way. Python three variable variables dot py five. Okay. So uh, we have some rules for for, uh, for for variable for variable naming. Uh, I should probably put this at the top over here. So the so the first first rule is that um, variables are are case sensitive so so this means va this means uh, name variable name equal let's say equal the, let's say equal John and name equal let's say Harry these are two two different variables and for strings, you can either use single quotes or, or double quotes. So this and this are completely different variables. Um, now, uh, they cannot start with, they cannot start with a number. Um, they, they cannot start a number, but they, they can contain numbers. And so I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna leave this right now. So with Python, you can also do some basic maths. Add here math. Let, let me put this down over here. So with basic math, if I, if let, let's say I have a variable called Z. Z is gonna be X plus Y, which, should return to me uh, if, if we print this out, print C. It's gonna be if we save this, then Python 3 uh, variables variables. So if you press tab, it's 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 simply gonna autocomplete for you. Press tab, it's gonna be 10.5, which is 5 plus 5.5. Uh, and you can do like uh, lots of stuff like a will be x divided by y or b equal x minus my minus y uh, or like l equal x um, x x multiplied by y so in python we have addition division subtraction uh, and multiplication and we have something called module, which is expressed by the percentage sign. So the module simply returns uh, the the remainder of uh, uh, the 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 remainder of, of, of the number that numbers that are evaluated. You could say. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna print. I'm gonna leave these action. I'm gonna no. I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna comment out the rest of this stuff. So 
So another thing we can do in Python, uh, we can check types. So if I want to check the type, I will simply write type z. I want to check the type of z, it's going to be h Python 3 class float because uh, z is type 10.5. And if I want to check the class, the, the type of name, name, I'm sorry. Uh, no, I, I didn't say this. S S T R S S S T R means string. Um, I can also do casting. So if I want to change X to be a string of five, I, I can simply do a new string or string equal S T R. That's going to be x, and then we can check we can check the type of of x of the type of new string by print new string print new string. Print new string. Ah, wait. I'm sorry. I I did not check the type. class str and right here type 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 checking okay so so then this is it for the for the basics of for, for the first video I'm gonna I'm gonna make a, a couple more videos of the for the basics of Python so expect to see another 10 like uh, 8 uh, 8 to 10 more more videos i hope you enjoy this and we'll see you next time